everybody, Tokosa here, and welcome back to another Ultra Impact video. A little bit different than what I usually do, right? As you can see on the screen, we're actually watching a DRC3 vid. I am not actually playing the game in any sort of manner. And this was actually made a couple weeks ago by him, and it basically just states all the problems, changes, fixes, and stuff, essentially, that he would like done to the game differently to just make it a better overall experience. And yeah, I think it would be good to like react and expand on a lot of the points that he makes here because I can guarantee you that I'm probably going to agree with him in pretty much in every aspect because well the game doesn't need change it does need more stuff to make it more intriguing and more you know interesting for like not only coexisting players but just new players right because My Hero Academia is not no small game it is definitely a very big anime in general and yeah it just it's a shame that they don't capitalize the way that they could, especially with a game like this, right? But anyways, that's enough talk. I'm just going to dive right in. We're going to watch this video. I'm, I'm going to skip through it, of course. I'm not going to like listen to all the points into high detail because the video would be 55 minutes long. But yeah, I just want to get to like when he makes the key points and then give my opinions on each one too. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop in. All right, this is a warning to anybody about to watch this video. I am about to go on a rant about My Hero Ultra Impact. I have not, I don't think ever done a video like this where I express my concerns about the game and the things I would like to change for the game. And I doubt this ever goes anywhere. I doubt anybody who works on the game actually ever sees this. But if they do, that would be amazing. Make sure you go down there and hit yeah, first playing first, it's important to always establish a voice or just like make some sort of like connection, whether it be a video, a tweet, uh, whatever the heck anybody's using. Uh, and hopefully I just have it anywhere on the internet and possibly somebody out there will hear it. I do think that's key, even if we're smaller than like other YouTubers that do for other mobile games. With any of the things I am about to say, so I have a list of things. I think it is it's essential. I think it's always important to get your voice out. That I need to happen in my Hero Ultra Impact. That I want all these things to happen, right? To make the game a better game. That's all. That's all I want out of this. To preface, the first thing I want to happen is advanced level up items for leveling up your character's speed, health, and power. I think personally. Yeah, I agree to a uh, to a sense. Now I am newer to the to the content creation world, so I obviously have many characters that I have not fully established or leveled up entirely, especially SR characters, just older UR characters. So I still do have quite a bit laying around. But as I check, because like I have my phone right in front of me here, you can probably hear a mumble talking. Like as I go to level up somebody that I know that I haven't put any to like any investment into whatsoever. Uh, I currently have, even today, like I have 400 of each, which uh, in hindsight sounds good, but if you're somebody that dupes characters up, uh, yeah, you're going to run out in about five characters. So. Are too hard I could definitely combine. see that being a there problem. No uh, you can get your daily case files, you get a couple, but then again, if you're someone like a content creator or just like anybody that likes to like get a high battle power you or you just love the game, you like to make sure everybody is taken well care of, yeah, we definitely need another, I'm assuming what he's about oh, to say. Good. Sorry. way in the game to farm them yeah another sense of with uh, them having an increased cost for way DX to grab characters. more so when you go to your characters right hopefully yeah he's just gonna on establish more on that point yeah my boy is dry as heck so yeah i do nice agree though we do need more dispatch rates shop but once it's like right here then after you go to yeah, update, always buy those dailies gold, too you're not guaranteed to have them there again i agree not having it there again also sucks but yeah yeah just, I don't know. It's it definitely not a great choice, but uh, I, I do think that is something that should be established more. It should be something you can buy a like lot. Right it's expensive anyways, and right? So, so really if we want to spend all our money on it, that's fine. Final way to obtain advanced level up items, at least that gems. Yeah, case files. Like, that's what I was saying. Not enough right here. Think about it costing three pieces of level up items. I don't even think, I remember right, like, yeah, if you scroll down here, they don't even offer these in the yeah. event shop. Yeah, and they don't sell it anywhere the else. That'd be a, a I agree. Just right some direction. other place to have so advanced they need to make leveling. It easier to get the advanced level up items. Yeah, that is item number one on my... For me, money. I run out of money, like, no you. tomorrow. It is a rant. Like, coins, I, I run out of that stuff so easily. Because ability boards, like, every, one, every last, like, piece of the ability board is so bloody expensive. I run out of money way worse than advanced leveling. I need ways to make money big time. But so, I do agree, advanced leveling does suck. Number two. The second thing we need in the game. We need long form PvE content, not PvE. 
I see, and this is this is the biggest rant for me too. Uh, it's just content in general with the game. Okay, it is. I, I mean, live PvP. It's crazy to me. Like as I go through the game right now, as I click, we have climax battle, VE tower, ultra arena, and events, case files, main story quest, and then of course you have USJ and leveling up. But I mean, it's not really content. Climax battle, you do your dailies. You can't do it anymore. So I wouldn't really call that content. And it's just. I guess it's the only time you can really use like higher end characters. VE Tower, once you've established a good team, uh, I it, you kind of just like wait every month for the VE Tower event to come out where you can do your daily runs. But after that, there's nothing to do. Uh, PVP, well, you know how PVP is, right? You got your daily 10, or not daily 10, but you have 10 stamina at max when you're at full energy. You can burn through that through, real, I don't know, 25, 35 minutes. Then you have to wait a couple hours just to get each stamina, so you can't really like just test, grind, variety. You're, you're limited to how much you can play PvP. Events, this is this is the one that I dislike the most. So with events, I'm clicking on my screen like y'all can see, but they cycle from, like you have those three easy, normal, hard boss stages, right? With the ultra difficulty and then that extreme one, right? And then you have the other event, which is essentially just skip, use all your stamina on it, and then buy everything in the store. In the store. That's it. Bonus characters make that. That is that's not content. Like I can get through that in like five minutes. <laughs> like as soon as it comes out at reset, and I'm usually up at reset sometimes or most times because like that one comes out when characters come out. So I'm just skipping through the event. Not skipping through the event, but like I'll beat all stages in the event in ten minutes. No joke. Skip all the stamina on it, and then I don't look at it again at all. I might read through like the story dialogue because it's somewhat interesting and it's original. Uh, but after that, every single day, I go in, I burn the stamina required, I need to buy all the stuff I need in the store, and then I click out of it. Like, it's, it's not content, you know? Like, at least create some sort of incentive to play. That's why I like the one a little bit more with Toga, like the one that's going on right now, where there is easy, medium, hard, and there's ultra daily. At least give the daily's good. That That's fine, right? But... Yeah, I just we need more content, some sort of long-term event content. It would sure. be cool, but I don't think this is a game designed for it. I don't think it'll ever happen. I don't think it needs to happen. Uh, but we do need more PVE content. That is what keeps yes. players coming back. And, and I do like think Club Festival is great. Club Festival is awesome, but it needs to be more consistent, like every month, like once every three months, every time a celebration character drops. Not enough. Not enough. I think it is a blast. I think it is so much fun doing Club Festival. You have daily content. You have strategic ideas you have to put into it you have to work around best teams best ways to attack uh you got to really know characters kits which i definitely am still adapting to and learning to but uh like there's a lot of strategicness that goes behind that which is fun and you can it creates collaboration with your bloody club it's the only time you can do it right you can talk with your club what is the best team that you find out pass that on information on what's the best score like uh you know it's just it creates playing the game and so when pv more content is dry you know, and there's not a lot i don't to know it, collaboration not, with everybody is guessing the word i'm looking like for the just more right here it's just teamwork just more hashed over yeah, and over with playing spring, with right? others it's, it's, it's just creates dry. a better environment it's very for sure. dry we need more and we need yeah so i just hate talking about because that they're not the same thing they're two different gotcha games oh, but about. in this case they're both owned by uh bandai right so we have my hero ultra impact here and i'm going to compare it to dokkan battle which Okay, Dokkan. Yeah, so I do play Dokkan too. I actually play it quite a bit. And I agree. They have infinite Dragon Ball history. They got Red Zone, Super Battle Worlds, Extreme Battle Worlds. Like, that's stuff that would be great for this game where you create a challenge, right? Uh, certain characters, uh, you know, usually the best characters in the game are how Dokkan likes to play that. But I think they should try to establish... Uh, what. Okay, so it's kind of weird how I'm thinking about this. And it only works if you understand the game. But, like, with Dokkan, obviously, you have all those, like, Infinite Dragon Ball history is a very long-term event. But you can use any variety of characters. So that's fun, right? So in this game, you could have the same thing. It's, like, 12 stages long. And, I don't know, you use a different team, kind of like Case File, right? And maybe you, you get a lot of gems for beating it the first time. But then you get other gem rewards or whatever reward you want to put in for using, like, the big three to clear this all. Or are you using a team with only pro heroes, villains? That creates A, incentive to summon for more characters. B, to use characters that you don't use anymore. Like, it's crazy to me. Like, use class 1A outside of the big three. Use class 1A outside of celebration fantasy units. Like, 
just anything you can make off the top of your head as a mission would create more content for this game, right? Like with VE Tower, at least you have all those side missions, right? Use it, don't use it with this character. Beat it within 10, 6, 7 turns. That's fine. At least that creates content. It may not be the funnest stuff at times, but at least there is something to do there. So I think they create another couple events like that where you have a big drop down list and you can kind of choose what you want to do. Then you have your red zone, which is essentially the hardest like content in the entire game of Dokkan. And that's, hey, you want to use the best characters to beat it? Do it. That's fine. Create the thing that Dokkan doesn't have. Beat it without using, well, I guess there's no items in this game, but without like certain like memories or something. I don't know. Just like anything sort of like that. And I do agree, though they are completely different games, uh, they are definitely owned by Bandai. So, you know, there's got to be some sort of connection. And and I know Dragon Ball IP is just way bigger, but I don't know. There is definitely a lot more that they can play with there. And it's it's just annoying that they don't do it with this game. It is. Charlie, I would say I play both games a lot. And yeah, he's going on both Dokkan. has introduced stacking with many characters. Uh, really, really. That's another thing, too. I'm assuming he's just talking about stacking. You could do long-term content for so many characters that would help. And I'm assuming... Good and long-form content. Maybe there's long-form con content. Okay, I missed. But, like, long-term, long, long build-up characters, like the new Bakugo that just came. I honestly, just Bakugos. Like, they get stronger each and every turn. So we have, like, the fantasy Bakugo. We have the tech Bakugo. We have the STR Bakugo that just came out, right? Tokuyami that's coming out shortly. He builds up per hit up to 13 times, right? Like a long-term event would guarantee that being full built up for all of them. So it'd just be kind of fun to see the max potential for characters that we just are not able to see the max potential of. Because there is a bunch of them in this game, unfortunately. And I think it just sucks that we're not able to use them to their full potential. So create PVE events that give us that, you know, ability to use characters. Because there's just so many characters in my box. And like, my box is way way less than other characters that i've been playing like from the very beginning of time because i have not been playing from the very beginning of time and for the longest time i was free to play i, I skipped 99 percent of the banners so there's characters out there or players out there that have each and every single character i bet you any money on that and they probably have them all dx to the, the, the small percentage but there are probably some people that do have that and 99 percent of their box is not being touched so it's just it just doesn't really make much sense to me in that term of aspect Right now, I guess Dokkan's you can say the same way with it too. You have like 600 characters, and you probably only use 30 or 40. But the thing with Dokkan is, with certain events, you can go and pull up those old units and use them, and like create beat certain missions with those teams. So there is use use like you reusability out of those characters, and there's just not really any of that in Hero, unfortunately. So more of that would be good, right? And, like, Climax Battle kind of has it, but it doesn't at the same time. Where it's like, have an Ochako on your team. You just you just throw them in the fifth slot, and then you just use your main team. <laughs> like, if Ochako's, like, not a boosted character... Okay, I'll use a different example. Use SR Muscular. Let's say that was, like, for some reason, like, a mission, right? You're fighting Deku. Climax Battle. You just throw Muscular in the fifth slot, then you use the three main boosted characters that you beat the event with, and the Muscular just doesn't really make sense, right? So, I think, like... Having them in your rope, I don't know. They just gotta like rework that, create more events, have a, a reason to use old characters, and the game is ten times more healthy. That this is my biggest rant. It's just content. So I, I promise you, whatever points he makes going forward, I will not be talking this long. But I just think events is what this game needs more than anything. Uh, I just it just doesn't really make sense to me. I just don't really like that game. So we need and never did anything with it. They never did anything with the boss rush event, so I oh yeah, to that's true. I don't know what the heck happened to that. Again, that like was... a permanent fixture boss rush in the Where game. Where did that go? I have no idea. Content in the game that'd be very very nice. So keep long form PVE content. The next thing we need is besides long form content, we need end game content. Okay, so we currently. I'm not going to elaborate on that. Red zone, any sort of higher difficulty is essentially what I was talking about from Dokkan. So, climax battle. Climax battle. Yeah, I guess climax battle is kind of end game content in this, but like, do you really call end game content me auto battling, uh, gentle criminal? <laughs> I don't really call that end game content. Now, Redestro is challenging, and like the other ones are tough too, right? You got to like click a few buttons at the very end to make sure you don't get stunned or shut down. But that's not that's not end game content to me. We need like real end game content we also need like some sort of establishment of raids right 
hey, every month there's a new raid battle. So, like, I don't know, let's say it's Overhaul. So the whole club attacks them, and it's a whole new, another ranking system outside of Club Festival. And, yeah, people that do spend money in the game, they'll have the advantage. There's, there's, that's just how it is in these games, right? But that's fine. If they're willing to spend the money, then they they get the rewards of doing the best. But at least that creates incentive for the whole club to attack and fight together. Not necessarily end game content, but just content in general. But yeah, uh, if you know Dokkan, Red Zone. So with this, we just have like, like you had the boss rush, any sort of implementation like that. Is our only PvE. Would help the game content. a lot. It would make it a lot more fun. And Club Festival are kind of end game content, but they try more towards the end game fortunate the way they did that. But maybe they took our. Okay, what, now, whether this video comes out before or after Club Festival, uh, I can't say. It is amazing endgame content. It's very difficult, but it is beatable, and it keeps you coming back and trying over and over. It's, uh, my Hero Ultra Impact. Like, we have Climax Battle, right? Or, I think he's still talking about the same It's point. just easy to beat Climax Battle. The Climax Battle, they'll introduce it alongside a new banner, and they're like, haha, new mechanics that only this character has. Oh, yeah, that's another thing that sucks about Climax Battle. It's events and cl even club festival i hate the idea of you having to use the brand new shiny character to get all the buffs too it's like you get that color buff like that we just had at club festival where it's dst and str and the two best units that did the best there were dst and str and they were brand new and i know that creates incentive to summon which gets them more money but it's i don't know i just don't like the idea of only being like locked behind a couple of characters uh i just I just think there should be other characters out there. There should be just more variety. If your character's over a certain age, <laughs> they do better or something, you know? Like, I just I just don't like the idea of two characters being your go-to characters throughout the entire event, right? It just doesn't really make too much sense to me. As, uh, uh, but once you if that's what the point was. of the climax battle, like I said, it's just, it's pointless. It's not, it's not hard no, anymore. Right it's on, not fun so far anymore. he's spot on and with everything. It's just, it is what it is. Another thing they should introduce, like going along the same line of thought, is they should introduce character specific or team specific missions. That's exactly what I was just saying. Like it's just it's so annoying that it's not part of it. Talking about make me go black, go back and touch USJ again. I haven't touched USJ. True, USJ's dead. There ain't nothing doing it. I just skip. <laughs> Other than doing my daily skips since I started the game, like nah, USJ for real. is completely for real. useless. So if you want to make the USJ a useful permanent fixture in the game add in some missions and say beat it with these select characters or beat it with uh yeah this no, he right he right team maybe you take on the strength yeah this area just elaborates more on the mission statement disadvantaged or something like that i don't know come up with some new missions to work towards and maybe those missions will give us like an s like the missions that they only give us is like burn 300 stamina is change your level up your character 10 times i don't know like advanced level 50 like that's that's not missions man that's just leveling like that. up characters now they like, have just... kind of come up with their own they need more of something like that with case files and as what i just described next on my list club festival banners need to be fixed along with making club festival a permanent club fixture festival and banners. getting us consistent fest not whenever they guarantee you she is going to be essential oh possible. like uh, this is elaborating the point where don't use specific characters that you have to use yeah it's stupid not like i said unless they listen to us unless they listen to us last club festival she's going to be essential okay and she was momo was a staple a absolute staple for this event unfortunately so, yeah. so that's variety was not there me. i tried and it and it was not fun club festival shouldn't just be this random banner we need to make it a permanent picture like just I agree. I don't understand why in the world it's every like three, four, five months. Every month even. That's fine. Ten days. Got ten days to whatever the heck they do, you know, calculate everything, make sure there's no cheating or whatever the heck they do over there. And then ten days later is another one. That's good. I'm okay with waiting a month. Three, four months. Maybe in three game months, goes dry. Club Festival. Let's talk about it. incredibly dumb. But uh Club Festival, we got third place last Club Festival, right? So if we go into my profile, ooh, that's missions. If we go oh, into you must my go profile on the next here, point and we take a look at your title it says first club oh they fixed it never mind they fixed it okay huh? they fixed it i was gonna say i didn't even realize when they fixed it they probably what did they that fix? a while ago like the it title? used to say first club fest thirst place and i'm like thirst place that's that's some that's some lazy ass <laughs> coding in over there Jesus, I don't know. Who... All right. okay all right that's not a complaint they for need me to at least make club festival a permanent fixture 
Yeah, Club Festival doesn't need your uh, Club permit. Festival is more fun to play than the USJ. Get rid of USJ if you're not going to use it. On my Club list Festival is more fun than 90% I of this I want to talk about no jump offense. packs. And yes, you're going to see that I have. Ah, uh, yes. This is another complaint that I could also state packs. with many. So my biggest thing with this game is, no, events. But with gem packs, when I see this stuff, the biggest problem I have with the deals is the more you spend on the higher end deals, the l the less value you get out of it. The How the hell does that make sense? Like if I'm buying ten dollars or the sixteen for me in Canada, like for me the five hundred gem deal is sixteen ninety nine. The two thousand gem deal should not be. It should not be four times more, or like it should. It shouldn't be exactly four times more, or in this case, it's like seven times more. It should be less. Like your ratio should be better, spending for more gems, which creates more sales for the whole team and whatnot. Because for me, two thousand gems is I think one hundred and nine dollars, one hundred ten dollars, two thousand gems. Where sixteen ninety nine gives me five hundred, so. 17 times four right 68 dollars for 2000 gems if the deal was there five times four times or spend 40 more dollars to get 2000 gems it just doesn't make sense to me like higher gem deals should be better it just it's stupid i just think it's so greedy <laughs> and if you would get so many more sales if they was the other way around it just it does not make sense to me in that stand in that point uh when i was summoning for yai Rosu that are decently priced at least they've come up with more options they overvalue themselves too much when they put for multi summons. Yeah, yeah. For oh, he's multi probably. Summons, I don't think should cost eighty bucks for multi summons. Yeah, and yeah, way too much money for multi. In general, gems should just be more, right? Like uh, in Dokkan, or not Dokkan even. Like Legends, you can spend Dragon Ball Legends. You can spend like fifty-five bucks and you get two summons, two full multis. Like, and that's like a consistent deal. They have their crazy deals that are like ten dollars for an entire multi, which is better than this one, seventeen dollars for me for an entire multi. And you can buy like two, three, four times with Legends of Times. So in this game, it's, it's once, <laughs> twice if they're really like, real generous. I would be it just doesn't make sense to me. Or, and I, I can know, tell you, I know that pity coming up too. You're going to talk about uh, that pity. Gem. But yeah, gem deals are just Impact. complete garbage here. For these specific gem prices, a little bit too expensive. Next on my list of complaints. I know it's pity. He's talking pity. Banners. So oh, the maybe not. main thing to talk about on the banners. 250. I'm oh my boy, I got okay shafted. Okay with the drop rates. Yes, I got shafted on the 1.5 times rate for whatever reason. I, I I don't know why, but my problem, biggest problem with the banners is the pity, and it's been I've, yep. been, I've said this since day one. Like I can't complain enough. Yep. I'm stumbling over my words because I'm so frustrated by the fact that they just don't listen, nor do they care because it's Bandai, right? But. Fix the pity on the banners so it at least carries over banner to banner. You can make... Yes, and like, I get that they probably think that you can just buy the new units if they do a carryover system. Just let us be able to buy banners from two banner units ago, even, right? Like, I hate that I have... I get the incentive. If I have 22, 23, 24 daily summons into it, I want to spend 50, so I'll, I'll end up throwing a couple multis in the game, which obviously in their mindset, it's working. But, like, it's just so greedy and it's so dumb, right? Like, if there was a pity system where at least there was points and there was value in behind them that carried over, then feeling su or summoning and then getting shafted won't feel as bad. Because at least you'll have some sort of incentive or way to get them again, right? Like, literally like Dokkan again. I'm bringing up Dokkan again because it's just the game that... Well, he referenced as well, and it's just one that has the same... Not the same pity system, but it has a carryover system. Where in, I think it's like six months, every six months where you sub in, and they have specific banners. Uh, so, like, we have a club festival banner where it's only these 1.5 times rates, or not club festival, but you have the celebration or impact fest, as they call it. And then you have your general pool banner units. So, in Dokkan, I know there's three coins, but I'm just going to keep it with red and yellow coins, where red coins in this case could be our impact fest, and yellow coins can be our general pool banner units. And just, I just don't understand why there is no carryover pity system. It's just, it's horrible. It's greedy. It just this would make it so much points better. Costs 400 or 500 pity points. If you're going to make it carry over banner to banner, I am okay with that. That is fine. Yeah. Increase how much it costs if you want to make it carry over from banner to banner. I agree. Because that would make it so much better. Uh, or, or the alternative, lower the pity cost. Yes. The fact that I have to spend like 300 shards worth to get one dupe is disgusting. 
Now, I haven't done the calculations on other games because I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know what they are. But like, three hundred pity points for a character is horrible, horrible, horrible. That is, that is way too much. Like what? Well, a multi obviously is ten shards, right? So, thirty multis is what gets you that dupe. Each multi is five hundred. You got to spend fifteen thousand gems to get a character. Nah, it's not cool. <laughs> it's just not cool. Like 200. 200, I think, is a lot more acceptable going 20 multi-summons in. Yeah. I think if someone's going 20 multi-summons in, they've still spent money on your game. You can give them at least one copy of the character. Now, having Pity be at 300 when the game first launched made sense, okay? Let me explain why it made sense. It made sense because you only needed, needed one, one copy character. of the character. Yeah. And getting yep. one copy of the character was worth going to pity because it was... And that's exact. I was about to bring that same point up too, so I'm glad he elaborated on that. But back then, I could justify the pricing, the, the pity rates, the horrible... The, uh, the amount of shards required, the ridiculous pricing. I probably already said that. I could justify all that because back then, you needed one character and you were done. You were done. And maybe the memory, but you could dupe up the memory. You always had your monthly UR memory deals, I think, anyways. But you had the UR memory shards, so you could, if you didn't want to spend any more, you could get it over time and max out that memory. So you need one character, one memory, get the memory done over time if that's the way you played, and then that was it. You were done. You could call it there with a banner, and it's beautiful. And now you need, like, four copies. And it's atrocious. And they haven't adjusted the gem deals, really, that much to justify them adding dupes to characters it just it's absurd to me so yeah yeah i'm just it's a big deal i'm not a fan of it four five different copies of the character mm -mm. and never gone to pity it's just oh another thing i don't like in this game uh for like those that go ultra summoning out there like like i have in the in the past uh, i can't pull it up like on screen right now but i have there's a couple ur characters but like there's a specific character SR, uh, it's an Ochako. Sorry, I know you guys can't, or anybody, any of you can see my screen right now, but uh, it was the SR Ochako that came out on uh, Vigilante Deck is better. A more is better Ochako. She's an STR unit. I have 18 DX memory shards that just sit there and rot away. What in the hell am I supposed to ever do with those? Like, I, I can't. They just sit there. Like, I can't do anything. Even Vigilante Deku, I have three UR DX shards or like dupes that are just sitting there building dust like at least let me use them in the worst way possible like let me be able to re-roll the ex auto attacks for, for like each dx you are at a tx cost I, like i lose an entire dupe for one roll it's horrible but at least i have some sort of use out of it obviously i would prefer to use it as like a general pool shard where it's like a, just another pity system like it's another way to build up to another character like, very, very little people that only summon aggressively in this game will have those anyways. But at least give us some way to use that. Like, it's just, it's so dumb. I just, not a fan. I, I uh, make pity less. Make pity less. People are going to spend money on your game still. I promise, if anything, yeah. it's going to make people spend yeah, yeah, yeah. more money on your game. So, I Yeah, it would. Uh, it's just such 300 a pity is so you at 300 pity demoralizing. I, I hate going for it. Uh, at least make it carry over banner to banner or mm -hmm. lower the pity. Like, and, like, just, I know, I know people that have gone, like, 500, like, exchange points without getting the character. And they're still only going to get rewarded one character they're not even they'd still have to do 10 more maltes to get the second character 500 freaking points is twenty five thousand gems and you're getting one character like 500 gems even if let's say it was the best deal i'm just gonna round up just the horrible balancing just to do easy math twenty dollars for 500 gems right well two hundred dollars would be five thousand gems so you're paying a grand to not even get the character or I guess, sorry, to get one dupe of the character. And that's me being very generous, saying 1790 or 1699 for me, for what the best 500 gem deal is, was there 50 times, which it's not. It's there once or twice every monthly reset. So they're spending way, way more than that, like a couple, two, three thousand dollars. And they can't, it's just ridiculous. It's actually absurd. The pity should be lower. I agree. Insane. It doesn't make sense for the four copy system that they have right now for people to go that 30 multi summons in to get one copy. Like, it's yeah. depressing. It is. It is. It's so upsetting. Get shafted, but like, it is.
Uh, Ultra Arena is just, oh man, Ultra Arena. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do I start with Ultra Arena? So, I hate how far they set you back every season. They, they drop you down two ranks at the end of every season. Okay. And it just takes a ridiculous amount of time to mm-hmm. grind and climb back up to Legend. And I have never, ever, ever cared about being at the top of Legend. If I really wanted to, if I wanted to sit there every day and grind every time I get my tries and maybe maybe put some hero gems in to refresh my tries, then I could be at the top of Legend for once in my life. But I just don't care that much. I don't want to be top three that bad. It's not worth the rewards to be top three. Yeah, that's fair. It's just Ultra Arena's rewards are not worth it to get to Legend every season. I don't actually despise Ultra Arena. It's just, it's simple. It's a turn base. And, you know, people that invest more money uh, are probably going to do better in Ultra Arena. But it's just, it's a simple turn based game, right? Um, but, yes, the rewards suck. I don't even get a bloody multi for getting the Legend rank. And I know they try to justify it with, like, oh, you can reroll your character's abilities in EX attacks and whatnot, and memories as well. But give a multi at least. Please. Please, please, please. Uh, and yeah, we do get set back quite a bit, and it is unfortunate. My biggest gripe with this game, though, is this mode, is when you get up to the Legends rank, and you're at the 2, 3, like, you, I don't know, way, levels away, like, top 3 and 4 from Legends rank, and even in Legends rank, like, there's that weird margin where you always have your people to get the Legends rank right off the bat, so there's a little bit of variety up there, and then you have the casual players that don't ever try to get Legends rank, and there's lots of variety there. But if you're someone that grinds in between... Kind of like I do. I fight the same two people every single time. There's like, okay, that's exaggerating. But sometimes, I remember the one time I grind. Like, Legends was like two or three Legends. I think it was two Legends ranks ago. I remember from like top two to top four. I think I fought the same four people like 60 times. That is so boring to me. Like, now there's nothing they can really do about that because of the player base. But like... I don't know, man. It's just, it's rough. It's rough. I just, that's the only aspect I don't like. I hate refighting the same people over and over again. I just wish there was more variety. Even like if I, they, they, even if I'm top two and there's like 25 people in Legends rank already, group me with some of those Legend rank fighters when I hit, when I see this list. Like, I don't really care that much about what's in each certain pool. Even put me some people lower down tier. So, but then justify it. Like if they if they check their battle log and they lost, they barely they only lose like one arena point because they got challenged by a formidable foe, if you want to call it like that. And then if I lose to somebody like that, then I get punished drastically. And it's vice versa. If I challenge somebody in Legends rank at the very top, this way above me, I lose only one point or two points. And then if I lose to somebody way below me, then I lose fifty points. I don't know. I just, I just don't like fighting the same people over and over again. Like that's my and most the reset bothersome thing about this. It. And the only reason truly that I get to legend every season is because <laughs> it is 300 free hero gems for getting there uh, for at the end of the season and 100 free I mean, hero gems for getting to legend. So 400 yeah, free yeah. hero gems total. Uh, but that's about it. And that's still like for a lot of players, that's not enough. 400 hero gems isn't even. No, gotta be at least a multi. So you're telling me you're gonna climb all. Also, they should do something like Dragon Ball Legends does. So when it's. Oh, well, they tack on another week. They don't do that. But like. They, I mean, you know, they're not very generous with gems in the first place, right? So like when there's a club festival going on or an impact fest, make the arena awards double just for that one season only, right? Because it's like a club festival thing. So let's create incentive to play more PvP. You get double the gems. You can get up to two whole multis. So that A. Hot, nine, 60% of the player base that doesn't even grind up will actually want to try really, really hard to reach Legends rank. It makes more, you know, challenging teams to play, more variety of people to fight, and it's just, it would create a better environment, honestly. Now, I know some people would hate it, but for me, myself, I would love it. <laughs> I just I just find, like, there's not enough, as DRC3 was mentioning, incentive to grind all the way up to the top. There just isn't. And it is unfortunate. All the way through all the ladders to get 400 hero gems. Just- but I do prefer this. Like, I play Dragon Ball Legends a lot. And I was actually really good at Dragon Ball Legends. It's just, I don't know, you got to deal with so many other things when it's, like, live action. Now, granted, it, it, is, it can be more entertaining and more fun, for sure. But, like, you're dealing with lag and then, well, uh, there's a lot of dumb mechanics in that game, like Rising Rush. But, like, I don't know. This turn-based stuff is just, like, simple. It's got a lot more thinking and, like step-by-step process to it which i do really really like that's why i kind of like dokkan where it's not just like well some people think it's just like bubble or like 
I don't know, like bubble clicking the game, right? No, you got to really like be a bit more strategic, especially in like red zone end game event, right? You got to really know how to distribute orbs, who can tank, you got to gamble, there's dodge. Like there's lots of things to take into consideration. Where in this one, it's, it's it can play in the same way too. Like with Dulce Summertime, I play that memory very carefully up in the higher end of Legends rank. Uh, but yeah, so I, the gameplay it's itself, I don't mind, but where you have to do a massive climb. Like, it's not a small climb. It's still, even getting set back two ranks is still a massive climb. It is a climb. To have to do yeah, next yeah, yeah, season yeah, yeah. again to get those 400 hero gems again. But yeah, the gems should be at least a multi. At least a multi. It's just... Also, it shouldn't take 30 freaking days to reset a PvP season. It should be two weeks. Two weeks max. 14 days to get up. And to justify that, as he said, you get you put down too high... Or put you get put down like too low of a tier, just get put up another tier above that, you know, d depending on how you finished in the previous season, and then grind all your way up there, right? Uh, I just think every 21, 25, 30, whatever the heck it is, I honestly forget, it's just way too long of a season. I don't know. Way too I long. I don't know. What needs to happen, maybe? I think they should maybe it's switch short from in the a, season. a monthly system to a weekly system. Yeah, okay, yeah, monthly. so it is a monthly system. Yeah, a monthly system is way too long. Way too long. Like Dragon Ball Legends is every two weeks. That's great. And when they do their double rewards, they make it three weeks, which can be a dreaded three weeks, but this one does a month, and you don't even get a multi. Like, that's so stupid. Like, every month, you should be able to get two multis, which isn't even that bloody generous, because you're not even getting halfway up to 50 freaking shards in summoning recruiting tickets. It should be every two weeks, 100%. Grand Cross. Now, Grand Cross is live Every PvP. week would be way better. I'm not saying that we need live PvP. Trim Pact and... Because yeah, right we don't now, need when you do climb an ultra arena. Look at look at my gear shop. Fifteen thousand medals in the gear shop every month. I always have an excess of medals. Like it's just you're True. not getting rewarded for every battle you play in ultra arena. So why are people gonna play it? You know, it's just not worth it. So fun yeah, to PvP. Play. There's stuff they you can, can fix keep that this for sure. Right here. Uh, you have to build an all UA high team and only UA high teams can compete or add in game modes where like uh, this yeah, character you could do. is banned this month. You can't use Sue at all this month. Any form of Sue you can't use or something like that. That would be fun to do and make it worth like some other sort of currency. I don't think I would add that implementation into normal PvP. I might have missed something that I was skipping through, but like a different sort of PvP like... Uh... I don't know. He might have said it there. I, I I was skipping through, so I do apologize if he did say it. But like, instead of just like you, you have your normal PvP, and then you have like a battle royale, where I think that's what they call it in Legends, where it's like use these specific characters in the game. Maybe gold, but outside gold of this is mode, sorely lacking in the game too. The, not, this one oh, I hate gold. I run gems. out of gold. The other one will award gold, and once again, that idea kind of comes from that bothers Master me more than anything. We like need that. more gold but in this game. But there's just game. so much that could be done to make. Like I have 11 million gold built up on my character right now, and I'm I'm worried that's not near enough for at all. <laughs> I don't be able to finish Tokuyami when he comes out, but like the game better, and they just let it sit. And maybe a couple more characters. And do nothing about it. And about something in the game that you might not have expected me to rant about, but I'm going to, hmm. and it's VE Tower. Now I have always personally loved VE Tower more than I liked Ultra Arena, more than I liked anything else in the game. I liked trying to score higher than other people in Ultra Arena hmm. because it felt obtainable. To be in the top 10 means you get 1,000 hero gems, and being in the top 10 to me felt obtainable. The wards are damn better in VE Tower, that's for sure. Obtainable. Being in the top 50 to a lot of people feels obtainable, right? Being in the top three in Ultra Arena to get those 1,000 gems, you're almost never gonna be in the top three, it's unobtainable. But my problem with VE Tower now is they have just stopped making content. They stopped making VE Towers. They stopped making... My biggest gripe with VE Tower... Nah, yeah, 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 he's right. There ain't no damn content. But, like, right now, especially in the higher-end, like, players that have everybody leveled up, SR characters are usually the way to go in this event. Now, there are some insane VE Tower characters. So, like, Fantasy Todoroki will be forever ageless in this event. But at times, you can't even use him because if you're somebody that, like, has a highly invested account... Now, granted, there's probably not too many of you out there, but there are people that like like to dupe up all their characters or just get them over time. Like, you can't really use Fantasy Todoroki because you just crush the event too quick. I feel like there just needs to be another tier of difficulty to VE Tower, and I would be so much happier. Like, I know they're adding it to some of this SS difficulty, but there should be like a, a U difficulty, like an ultra difficulty one, where like you really need all your characters maxed right out. And like, you don't need like dupes in your characters. Sure, it can make your life a little bit easier, 
but like level 100 like star like both piece of route basic route completely done very good ex auto abilities on all your ur characters that help push you over the edge just to get the best score like and you need to be tested right you need to do a couple runs till you get that score that would be great but like because there's times where i use like ur characters that you know i'll go off like just what i think is the best characters and how they score best just by reading what their kit is or techni technicality points and whatnot and I'll beat it in four turns. And then I'm I I'm forced to use older characters, like SR characters and whatnot. Which is, I guess, kind of contradicting to my point where I said you can use older characters for content. Which is great, yeah. So I am happy about that in some sense. But I still think there should be another level of difficulty to VE Tower. Which you can use both versions, right? So... Yeah, I just New think that would be good. VE towers, they stopped putting out tower challenges. They gave us one VE Tower a while back. And that was it. And they keep announcing. Yeah, more tower challenges, please. These stupid Content. shuffles. Like, oh, we're going to shuffle your brackets, put you in with new people. And really what they're saying is like, hey, we're going to take the uh, new people, put them all in a bracket. We're going to take the people who have been playing for over a year, put them in a bracket. And we have two brackets and they're not. And you like if you're in the not in the new people bracket, you have no chance of scoring high because they're just putting you against these people who spend a lot of money and who are going to be at the top of the brackets consistently, myself being one of them. But even then, I'm not always in the top 10. Like right here, you can see on the last VE tower, I was top 13. Mainly because I could just couldn't be bothered to get a super high score, but like still, it's just ridiculous. And, yeah. uh, don't don't announce tower shuffles. We don't care about the tower shuffles. They don't do any challenges consistent. Is what it is. Well up is that his last it point? seems like. You no. Know, overall, my biggest complaint for the game, and what I would like to see in the game, content. I guess to sum it all up, is more content in yep. the game please give us more reasons it really is just it comes down to content in this to game for me awesome characters with the awesome it's the only art. thing that i really like, gripe about like i agree with a lot of his points but like i can not i don't really want to live with them so i'm glad they have been brought up by himself uh but for me what really hurts this game is content now i know a lot of people like to play casually with mobile games and whatnot and that's great because this is a very casual game but still there are a lot of people that like this like dislike my hero a lot and there's not a lot of representation out there right the the hero games that are out there right now are just like the the side scrolling fighting games like one one justice uh like those are very popular and now we do have that new battle royale game which is good that is more variety but like games like this and mobile we only have this and strongest hero and it's unfortunate the strongest hero is not really doing as well as it used to do mainly cuz a once again no bloody content I used to play that game, and now all they've done for like the last year is release characters. And it's, uh, sorry, sorry, let me reiterate that. Rerun characters with the very rare surprise every year to drop a character. And that is why I dropped that game. That, that hurt my soul because Tokiyami was actually one of like the main four like general pool banner units right off the bat. And he was a UR character, so I was super hyped and I actually went pretty hard for him. But yeah, it just, they added some stuff to like, I don't know. They didn't add enough. They just didn't do enough with that game, unfortunately. But now with Ultra Impact being what I would call the most popular mobile hero game by quite a bit, quite a margin, they need to capitalize on that. They need to create events. They need to create content. Like, it's just crazy to me. And that's definitely my biggest gripe with this entire game. I just, I wish Kids there was more. And the characters and more ways to use different characters. More ways to to be strategic with events like club festival and more rewards and more incentive to do stuff i just think that yeah anything else about the game is my big summary I too love the art i love the gameplay style i love everything about the game right i really do love my hero ultra impact i really do enjoy it yeah I, I, I do also love but the game too just give us more reason to play it please developers yep. and if you guys feel the same way like i said please go down there hit that about things you would like to see changed yeah yeah no he's spot on there like now i knew this is probably like a 50 minute video anyways uh, how long we talk? 44. So I don't know if I will. I'll probably try to edit some of it out, but like, uh, probably not actually. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do agree with a lot of it. And it's just, there just needs to be a lot of changes in this game. So yeah, there's my ridiculously long reaction video. If you want to check out the whole thing, if you stuck to the end, you know, big shout out to all of you. Uh, I probably ranted about events for like 15 minutes alone, but <laughs> It's true, it's true. It is my biggest gripe with the game. Uh, but no, DRC3 made many, many good points there that were definitely necessary, or are definitely in need of a change. And hopefully, 
hopefully that they listen to us one day because i know it's not just him and i it, there is many many other care players out there that just want more for the game and it's just upsetting not seeing more changes for it anyways this was a 45 minute i, I mean i said 50 55 minutes so i did cut it down 10 i guess i i mean, I'm trying to look positive so apologies for the length of it but yeah that's just me kind of breaking down some of his points I'm not really breaking down, just like expanding on half of them or agreeing with half of them or break or saying it in a different way or how I think he could change it. But yeah, there's just there's lots of things they could do for this game that I wish they would do, but they just unfortunately do not. But who knows? Maybe, like he said, one of them will hear or some people will hear and they actually will make some changes in the game. Uh, it would be great. I would be very happy with it. But yeah, anyways, I still love the game. It's still a blast and I still plan on making content on it, of course, as I do. Uh, but yeah, more would just be better for not just us two, but for the, everybody that plays this game. And I think that's what I think they should be focusing on other than making a few extra dollars because it's just not healthy at all. Anyways, that's it for this one. Uh, if you stuck to the end, once again, thank you so much. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, hopefully Bandai, if you're hearing this, make some changes, help the game out, make it last longer. Anyways, until next time, Tokusa out.